It has been hectic, uh, but it's been good. So very busy, long days. Um, Monday was uh, an early start. Coaches start pretty early here, so 6.30 pick up from home and then uh, didn't really get home until, uh, what, about eight o'clock at night. So nice first day. And then uh, the second day was, was pretty similar, um, but it was good, really good to get to know the guys, um, to feel the place out a little bit more and, uh, you know, had a couple of good sessions on the field. So it was, uh, very valuable for the first couple of days. The HPC here, the High Performance Centre, is um, is certainly one of the best um, setups that I've seen uh, in rugby. Um, I've seen a few other professional setups, but uh, in terms of rugby, um, I don't think the players could ask for any more. Yeah, the program here is amazing, and, and I think it's backed up by a really good HPC. Uh, I've been to Munster, um, been to, to Limerick. We played at Thorman Park um, in the 99 World Cup, and, and I played uh, one other game here. Well, I didn't play, but I was a part of the team that played. Uh, one other game here um, in the late 90s. I know what it's all about. Um, you know, the fans are fanatical um, and we certainly felt it that day when we played here. Um, yeah, I've got, I've got a bit of history here with Limerick, um, but certainly hoping to make a bit more. You know, we've got a big squad here at the moment. A um, uh, bit of a challenge to know all their names. You sort of, you, you probably start out with their first name and then you, you sort of work onto their last name and then you've got nicknames as well. So um, it's a challenge uh, trying to get it all down pat. Uh, I've worked with the back line now for, for the last two days and um, I probably know half of the players by first name and last name. Um, you know, Munster is a, a very well-known rugby team around the world. Um, if you asked um, any rugby supporter in Australia, they would certainly have heard of Munster. Um, the people within the organisation are amazing and then uh, the squad is quite a talented squad. It's going to be uh, tricky for the first couple of months without the internationals um, as they'll be away with the World Cup. But you know a really good squad here um, and then the fans are just fanatical so I mean you hear about them all over the world so it's, there's heaps of draw cards coming to a magnificent club like this.